White House spokeswoman Kayleigh McEnany defended President Trump on Monday over his criticism of Attorney General William Barr for failing to inform Congress that Hunter Biden had been under investigation by the Justice Department during the 2020 presidential election campaign. All he had to do is say an investigation is going on, Trump told Fox and Friends in an interview that aired Sunday. The president also faulted Barr for not stepping up as special counsel Robert Mueller did when he disputed a 2019 BuzzFeed report that Trump directed Michael Cohen, his former personal lawyer, to lie to Congress. President Trump's exactly right, and his analogy could not be more appropriate to Robert Mueller who, in a rare move, came out and said that this BuzzFeed story is just not true, McEnany said during a Fox News interview. She also ripped the media for ignoring the story after the Post revealed in October that Hunter Biden had introduced a top executive at Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company, to his father, President-elect Joe Biden. When you have one of the nation's largest newspapers banned from Twitter. When you have entities like the New York Times calling the Hunter Biden information, Russia misinformation, ironically the same publication that won Pulitzer's on Russia disinformation, McEnany said. And when they're out there saying this and it's been echoed across every single airwave, except Fox, I would point out, you have an obligation to come out because you are affecting an election by not coming out and saying that this investigation exists and is not, in fact, Russia misinformation, she continued. McEnany said Barr's lack of support has left Trump exasperated. He's frustrated. He's very public about it, and the country was misled unfortunately by a number of news outlets, saying that this was a factory conspiracy theory. I was right there with the president when he was interviewing with 60 Minutes Leslie Stahl, where she wouldn't even let him speak on the Hunter Biden scandal. Ellipsis. All along the facts were there, it was ignored and it's unfortunate that the attorney general didn't come out.